Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show how to find the value of a and b where a square minus b is equal to 31, b square minus a is equal to 31. Now a square minus b is equal to 31, it is called equation number 1 and b square minus a is equal to 31, it is called equation number 2. Now from equation 1, subtract equation 1 from equation 2. we can write here a square minus b minus b square minus a is equal to 31 minus 31 subtract equation 2 from equation 1 okay or a square minus b minus times plus is minus b square minus times minus is plus s a is equal to 31 minus 31 is 0 or now rearranging left side we can write here a square minus b square plus a minus b is equal to 0 or now here we can use a formula so we can write a plus b times a minus b and taking common positive 1 to last two term we will get positive 1 times a minus b is equal to 0 or now taking common a minus b we will get a minus b times a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0 there are two cases so case number 1 a minus b is equal to 0 and other is a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0 or taking this negative b to right side we will get a is equal to b so there are same values of a and b now recall our first equation we can write here our first equation a square minus b is equal to 31 so we can write here a square minus b is equal to 31 or here a is equal to b so we can write here b square minus b and taking this 31 to left side we will get negative 31 is equal to 0 now we can use quadratic equations so b is equal to minus b plus or minus a square root of b square minus 4ac over twice a or b is equal to minus b here b is equal to negative 1 so we can write here minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of b that means negative 1 whole square minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 31 over 2a that means 2 times 1 or b is equal to minus times minus is plus so we will get 1 plus or minus minus 1 square that means 1 minus times minus is plus 4 times 1 times 31 is 124 over 2 times 1 is 2 or b is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 124 is 125 over 2 or b is equal to 1 plus or minus 125 can be written as 25 times 5 over 2 so we will get b is equal to 1 plus or minus 5 square root of 5 over 2 so we are find out a comma b is equal to 1 plus or minus 5 square root of 5 over 2 when a is equal to 1 plus or minus 5 square root of 5 over 2 this time also b is equal to 1 plus or minus 5 square root of 5 over 2 because of that a is equal to b ok so we are find out first solutions now second solutions here second case here a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0 or 
taking this b and this one to left side right side we will get a is equal to negative b negative one and it is called equation number three now recall our first equation we can write here a square minus b is equal to 31 so we can write here a square minus b is equal to 31 here a is equal to minus b minus 1 so we can write here minus b minus 1 whole square minus b is equal to 31 we know that a square that means this is a positive number so we can write here b plus 1 whole square minus b is equal to 31 or here we can use a formula so we will get b square minus 2b plus 1 square that means 1 minus b and uh, taking this 31 we will get negative 31 is equal to 0 or b square minus 2b sorry here we will get 2 plus 2b sorry so plus 2b minus b that means b my plus 1 minus 31 that means minus 30 is equal to 0 now here we can use middle term breaking rule so we can write here b square plus 6b minus 5b minus 30 is equal to 0 or taking common b to first two term we will get b minus b plus 6 and taking common negative 5 to last two term we will get b plus 6 is equal to 0 so here taking common b plus 6 we will get b plus 6 times b minus 5 is equal to 0 so finally the value of b is equal to 6 uh, negative 6 and positive 5 okay now recall 3 recall equation 3 we can write a is equal to minus b minus 1 a is equal to minus b minus 1 so when b is equal to negative 6 the value of a is equal to negative negative 6 negative 1 is equal to 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 and when b is equal to 5 the value of a is equal to minus 5 minus 1 is equal to minus 6 so finally our second solution is a comma b is equal to when a is equal to 5 then the value of b is equal to negative 6 and when a is equal to negative 6 then the value of b is equal to 5 and it is our final answer if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye